and a warm welcome to you all. Hey, thanks for joining me. This is the April 2018 Psi Predictions for the Earth using remote viewing and the psychological collective conscious cards of this particular deck. I'm also going to pick one overall background card from the Morgan Greer Tarot deck as an indicator of background energies for the month of April as well. So I will just shuffle these first, and the shuffling seems to be over and done with. That was quick. And it's just going to be the first card, which is the Hanged Man reversed. So we will, it would appear that things might be at a crossroads somehow, one way or another. And whether or not we are having illumination or lack of illumination, we will work out as we deal with these collective conscious energy cards. So for April 2018. The Mother card. Mm. The Inquirer. The Birth card. The Fortune card, which I think may have been out last month, and I think the Tower was as well, and the Message. Okay, so seven cards in all for this month's reading. So I think we should probably start with the Hanged Man first, because as he is the Adjudicator and oversees all of the other cards in essence as a background energy, really what his message is saying is passing itself across to the other six cards. So it tends to say when he's reversed that there is some sort of crossroads coming for a lot of different variables in life. And it could be to do with these essences that these cards are throwing up here. So it's like as if there is only one option or one or two options. It's either in or out or up or down or yes or no. There seems to be not so much time for contemplation of a broader scenario when we have the reversed hanged man around. Uh, it's possible that it's time to let go of outdated attitudes, situations or friendships as well when this card is in reverse. Even from personal perspectives, it tells us it's time to make changes and quite radical changes and quite immediate changes. So I think that's why April could be a feisty month. It's also um, sort of the Mars ruled month with the Aries energy as well and that's often about quickness fire and action. So I think the whole month is leading itself to this feeling of possible quick, sudden, unexpected changes at many, many levels. So moving into the reading, we will start on the first card up there with the mother card. So six cards in total and three cards have repeated themselves from last month's reading, which is really a quite unusual and it's the fortune card, the tower card, and the birth card. So when cards show themselves up a couple of times in a row, the emphasis is on the message that they are sending. We will start anyhow with the mother card. I've often said before, she hasn't turned up a lot in the past, and we've been talking about different ideas of what the meaning of the mother card is. But she often does represent the female energy in life. So possibly mothers and families or babies. Sometimes this could represent famous people. So perhaps the birth of babies from famous people such as um, celebrities or royalty. And I think the Duchess of Cambridge, Catherine, is having her baby in April. So it could well represent that. However, we often go beyond that and find that it could be talking about Mother Earth, Gaia herself as a planet. And there's certainly a few things in these cards that are talking about planetary issues such as these four um, in that corner over there. The other things that the Mother card can talk about, as I said earlier, are feminine energy. So just the whole female presence on the planet. So the matriarchal energy and we have seen a lot of that occurring this year with the Me Too movement and other various uh, aspects or dimensions of 
that particular part of life but I have seen when this card turns up we sometimes note traumatic events where parents and children are concerned and it can often be mass events and the loss of families or mothers and children or children one way or another. It can be a bit of an unsettling card and in terms of Gaia, Mother Earth herself, we wonder if it's her um, ramping up her own energies or making something known or felt or present in the month of April. So quite strong energies that could be traversing the planet and of course anything that lives on it such as ourselves. The Inquirer card, interestingly enough, I have sort of stopped putting it in the deck because it usually refers to me being the Inquirer for the reading, which can often portend to something around New Zealand because that is where I'm reading from. So somehow it's jumped back in the deck, it's a little bit interesting, so it could pretend to some sort of activity around New Zealand that becomes global news during the month of April, one way or another. It doesn't have to be geographical, um, but it could be, such as earthquake movement or weather-related movement. I have seen this before when it's political or big issues to do with companies or money or finance or politics can also be in the news. We see the birth card over here and as I say it was in last month's, it represents usually quite severe weather, we can see this because of the background of the card, it looks like a really wet, heavy rain laden sky, there is a lot of moisture and wetness on this particular, looking like possibly a new plant that is emerging from the ground, but it often foretells us of really massive storm events with lots of rain or water in it one way or another. Now this can also be snow because remember snow is just frozen water. So it can be either or of those particular type of events but really massive events and sometimes they are started out at sea and they form such as cyclones or hurricanes and then they come onto land and they create damage and sometimes they can damage the crops which is what this could be uh, you know, displayed as. Also that particular image often makes me think of a volcano. So it could lead to possible volcanic unrest as well, so we may see an increase in that in April, and also earthquakes because it almost looks like a mountain being moved as well. So those are the general energies of the birth card. I think a lot of astrologers have been saying that April is a month of this year in particular that seems to hold quite a lot of unrest and I think they're talking unrest at many many levels for many of us so not just physical earth sh shifts and changes but metaphysical for humans and our mindsets and our paradigms and our belief systems, political changes I think a lot of unearthing is being done, so we're being shifted around and sifted through, so a lot of hidden agenda stuff is still continuing to come to the surface, and of course that's making a lot of changes in the way we perceive certain laws and how we have perceived people and things. That will continue to change as April uh, ushers itself in. We come down to the fortune card, often represents finances because we have a treasure chest up here and we have the man climbing the stairs. So sometimes I feel that finances can be implicated one way or another. Look they could go up but there's the tendency at the moment between the trade-offs and the tariffs that are being placed from the US onto various uh, countries especially China around the aluminium and the, stain, uh, the steel that they import or export and now China is retaliating so I think there is a degree of uncertainty in the markets out there so f fundamentally finances could be going up and down a little bit in April unless there is some communication brought about that can um, cohesively stop this negative trade-off against each other so finances could still be again in the limelight in April and they could be up and down and I think the uh, the reason we say that is the overall hanged man in the background he is the adjudicator or overseeing all of these cards so his presence weighs upon all of them so coming back to the fortune card it generally does talk to us about finances being either going up or down and it could be quite sudden it might be unexpected or it might be that 
there's a suggestion that we have to make changes around some of the way we've either been dealing with communications or talks. This could relate to, say, China and the USA and their trade negotiations. It could also relate to other trade negotiations between other countries as well. But I think it could say that there's a bit of um, tenuous e tension between perhaps different financial aspects and the way they could go and the dynamics of it. Now one of the other cards that was present was the Tower card. It often refers to, again we have the same really wet cloudy sky that we have up here. So I think there is talk of very wet April somewhere on the planet with a lot of rain or storms or stormy systems or flooding. This reminds me of a house sitting on a moat and houses on moats are surrounded by water so often that could infer uh, flooding in low-lying areas of cities or villages or places by streams where the rivers and streams are inundated and they flood up and cause damage to I'm thinking of towns and villages and small places or cities Possibly the older areas through the European part where you might see buildings like this, such as castles. So any of that older established part of the globe where humanity has lived for longer periods of time. It also, in the past, I have suggested that it can refer to things to do with Italy and possibly quakes in Italy. But I have to say that in March that didn't match uh, the intended energy path so that may be changing the card energy or message may be changing in regards to Italy and earthquakes but we'll just wait and see and leave that open it does also refer to homes definitely and shaking so there's a couple of cards um, diagonally connected that are talking a little bit about quake activity and then we come to the final card of the reading and it's this one down here the message now the message is looking a bit like on the deck of a boat with a fishing net and in it are all these kind of fish and bits of the net and seaweed and a bottle with a note in it. So sometimes this can be a literal message. It can be something that we hear either through the news or that someone is delivered and it alters or changes something. So quite often this can be at the very top level, such as in the political forum, so big major foreign leaders. You know, at the moment we've got this issue going on with Theresa May and now the rest of the world jumping in, accusing Russia of the poisoning of the ex-spies that happened in England a, a month or so ago. And I'm not convinced yet that Russia did it, so... Uh, there's still a little bit of conspiracy going on there. I'm not sure who actually did do the poisonings, but it's created such a furore around the world and there's quite a big backlash. And now Russia seemed to be getting really antsy about the whole thing. And uh, there was a recent article in the paper where one of the Russian spokespeople said, if we continue along this line, this is going to turn into a very, very bad thing. So let's hope that we're not getting messages like that continuing for the month of April. But April is a warrior month. This can also represent mucky seas, so things that go wrong with our seas. This could be to do with animal die-offs, it could be to do with more information about the toxicity of our oceans and seas, which we are finding out more and more by the day. It could be to do with pollution uh, from that perspective or the change in pH or the raising of the temperatures of the seas. This can also help to form big storm cells so it may be related along those lines. It can also infer coastlines that get wrecked and messed up with wreckage and debris of things like you know, after a big storm where boats are smashed up and there's wreckage and debris so that infers more storms which we've talked about. It can also relate to quake-related movement in the sea or the oceans as well as volcanic-related movement that creates change in our seas. So sometimes this card can turn up when a tsunami can be present for the month. So if it is, then there's indication of quite big quakes with possible tsunami activity for the month of April. So there you go everyone. There's a real mix going on here in the cards and the energies for April but it does seem to be quite a stern message right from the onset with the reversed hanged man as the adjudicator. So thanks everyone for joining me, leave your comments, add your influences and what you think the cards mean because the more 
reference we get for all of these, the deeper the readings can go and the more established they become. So thanks everyone, have a safe and happy April. Namaste, much love.